Hey guys, Matt here, coming at you with a review of the LEGO Town Extreme Team Radical Racer. This is set number 6589, it came out in 1998, it contains 82 pieces and comes with one minifigure. And if I recall correctly, there are two variations of this set. There is just the vehicle, which is what I have, and then there's one that comes with a sort of special off-road base plate. I do not have that, unfortunately. Now, the one minifigure that you get with the set is the Racer Driver. He's sporting black pants with a little bit of yellow detail in them. His feet are a little bit dirty. He also has a sort of racing jacket or jumpsuit on top, which is a sort of black suit with the Extreme Team logo and Velcro strap printed on it, and white arms. And there is back printing on this. It is the Extreme Team X. His face sports these blue sort of sports sunglasses and a smiley face. And he gets this cool little helmet that has a black visor and flames painted on the top. Flames are a big theme with the Extreme Team. And then you get this. This is the Radical Racer. I don't want to call it a dune buggy, so I'm going to call it like a, an extreme off-road 4x4 type vehicle. And it comes with a lot of really cool and really crazy details. So on the front here, you get this kind of brush guard of some sort that clips right in. And you get these two yellow headlights that stick out of the sides. Of course, you've got these horns here that are probably from some dead uh, bovine type creature, maybe a cow. You also get the exposed engine block here. Those are those little stud details. And there are flame stickers on the side because we all know flames make things go so much faster. You also get these sort of big meaty tires here that are meant for a sort of cruising easily over the, the rough hardcore terrain. There is no real suspension on this vehicle, which is something I would like to fault it for. Uh, a lot of the other LEGO sets at the time, including one of the Outback sets, has flexible suspension on it, and I wish that was a detail that they included in this. You then get the driver's compartment here with a dark, transparent blue windscreen and opening doors, although the windscreen does extend over the doors, so it doesn't make much sense to have them opened. And of course, you can just take your minifigure fold them right up and pop them right inside where he sits comfortably. You then get these chrome exhaust sort of muffler bits here and I really do like that these are chrome. Lego doesn't make a lot of these in chrome anymore and they also make them in these sort of one stud connectors versus a Technic connector at the time. So these are some really really nice pieces to get with this set. You do get a light bar here, which has these yellowish green, I'm going to call them like lime green transparent bits. I don't know what the deal is with those. They don't seem to fit the set very well, but they do make it look a little bit more extreme. And if we move on to the back, of course you get the same wheels on the back. Although this vehicle is canted forward slightly to make it look a little bit more rugged, I guess, and more aggressive. You also get a transparent green antenna, a flexible spoiler on the back that has an Extreme Team sticker on it, and some little tail light elements. And that is all there is to this set. It's the same on both sides. I do think it's kind of a cool set. It's a little bit odd, but so is all the Extreme Team stuff. It's just meant to look really hardcore. That being said, with all the really nice detailed elements you get with the set, including the horns and these little chrome uh, mufflers here, I think it's definitely worth getting to break down eventually or if you want to fill out your Extreme Team layout. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to like, comment, favorite, and as always, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys again soon. Take care.